Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for April 23rd. Today's devotion is titled, Jesus, the True Peacekeeper. The Bible reading is from John chapter 16, verses 25 to 33. I have spoken of these matters in figures of speech, but soon I will stop speaking figuratively and will tell you plainly all about the Father. Then you will ask in my name. I am not saying I will ask the Father on your behalf, for the Father himself loves you dearly because you love me and believe that I came from God. Yes, I came from the Father into the world, and now I will leave the world and return to the Father. Then his disciples said, At last you are speaking plainly and figuratively. Now we understand that you know everyth everything, and there's no need to question you. From this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus asked, Do you finally believe? But the time is coming. Indeed, it's here now when you will be scattered, each one going his own way, leaving me alone. Yet I am not alone because the Father is with me. I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. On December 30th, 1862, the U.S. Civil War raged. Union and Confederate troops camped 700 yards apart on opposing sides of Tennessee's Stones River. As they warmed themselves around campfires, Union soldiers picked up their fiddles and, and harmonicas and began playing Yankee Doodle. In reply, the Confederate soldiers offered Dixie. Remarkably, both sides joined for a finale playing Home Sweet Home in unison. Sworn enemies shared music in the dark night, glimmers of an unimagined peace. The melodic truce was short-lived, however. The next morning, they put down their fiddles and picked up their rifles, and 24,645 soldiers died. Our human efforts to create peace inevitably wear thin. Hostilities cease in one place only to ignite somewhere else. One relational dispute finds harmony only to be embroiled in distress again, again months later. The scriptures tell us that God is our only trustworthy peacemaker. Jesus said it plainly, it's me, you, you have peace. We have peace in Jesus. While we participate in his peacemaking mission, it's God's reconciliation and renewal that makes real peace possible. Christ tells us we can't escape conflict. In this world, we will have trouble. Jesus says, strife abounds, but take heart. He adds, I have overcome the world. While our efforts often prove futile, our loving God makes peace in this fractious world. Where do you see humans working for peace? And how is God's peacemaking different? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.